right into the main event, Derek Brunson versus Darren Till. Take it away, Dan. Yeah, so we got Darren Till who made his uh, – who's now one and one in his uh, middleweight venture in the UFC. I mean, he fought at welterweight, and he really did well there. Um, he had – you know, like he went and fight, fought for the title where he was a favorite over Tyron Woodley. He did get finished and showed that he wasn't really on that level yet. Yeah. But he was super young at that time. Um, he's 28 now. Back then, it was only 2018. So that's three wow. years ago. He was like 25 fighting for the title. So, like, you know, he's older now. He's got more experience underneath his belt. He uh, has a win over Kelvin Gaslam when Kelvin Gaslam wasn't taking fights on short notice every other week. Um, and then he lost a unanimous decision to uh, Bobby Knuckles, Robert Whitaker um in a fairly once that that fight was fairly one-sided if you want my opinion on that but um there like i think that robert whitaker is like one of the is the clear second best middleweight on the on the planet the number one contender yeah and he could very he has a chance to win the belt back like i think izzy and robert whitaker stand like well above everybody else yeah, i agree um, with that but Derek Brunson has had a very, very nice career resurgence of late. Um, he has just come back and it's just derailed hype train after hype train. Um, he has a four or five winning, winning streak over Elias Therodou, Th- Therodou, um, Ian Heinish, Edmund Shabazi, and where he was definitely expected to lose. And the UFC served him up on a silver platter to lose that fight. Beats the shit out of him. Uh beats the shit out of Kevin Holland, you know, wins that decision fairly easily. And then now he's fighting Darren Till. He's getting a real opportunity to get back into like a top five, like he could be a serious contender. And as an older guy at 38, at 37, um, yeah, he's only 37. He's not like too, too old. This is really like his last, last run. And he did move training counts down to, um, like, Sanford MMA with, like, Henry Hooft. So, like, ever since he's done that, he's been just unstoppable, honestly. Yeah. Like, uh, and Blonde Brunson is no joke. Um, looking at the odds in this fight, which I'm really curious to see, Darren Till is a minus 180 favorite. Damn, I think this fight should be almost a pick Um my, my pick is Darren Till, but I, I wasn't expecting him to be a minus 180, 190 favorite, a minus 180 favorite. That's crazy. Brunton's a solid dog. <laughs> yeah, Brunton is a great dog to take yeah. because, you know, um, the only thing with Brunson is that I think his chin is a little shaky. He's been, he's been like in his last fight against Kevin Holland, he got rocked like twice in that fight. You know, and Kevin Holland is a very small middleweight. Like, he's yeah, but he tall, but, like, he's tall, but, like, you know, like, weight-wise, he's nowhere near what these guys walk around at, you know? But but his his striking powers, he, he hits hard. Yeah, he hits – yeah, he does hit like a Mack truck. <laughs> so, um, I think Darren Till is definitely a better all-around mixed martial artist than uh, Kevin Holland, and that's a fact almost, you know? He yeah. has better takedown defense. He knows, you know, like he's he's going to be able to stuff way more takedowns than um, Kevin Holland did. And Brunson's key to victory in his fights is getting the fight to the ground and just wearing on you and using the, that ground and pound and just, you know, hammering you with elbows and punches. Definitely. So, you know, like from the half guard or the, you know, something like that. Or like, you know, he can posture up and shit. Like, overall, he, he can really, like, hammer on you over the course of the fight. So, Brunson is solid. Um, this fight, like, like, I just can't believe Till's a minus 200 favorite. I, I'm That's taking wild. Till. I think that he's going to be able to keep the fight on the feet and for the most part and, you know, pick him apart because he is more of a striker himself. But... I'm just shocked that he's that much of a fit. He's like a two to one favorite. That's just yeah, a- me too. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, you're all good. You did. You're done, Dan. Yeah, I got. I got Darren Till on this one. Word. Um, Derek Brunson, four and one in his last five on that four fight winning streak. 
His last loss being from Izzy Adesanya back in 2018, which is just going to happen. Since then, he's really been using his grappling. He's gonna, He got 16 takedowns since then in his last four fights, and he had zero in the fights leading up to that last loss against Izzy. So he really changed his whole, like, he evolved it. He really stressed his grappling. Also, he's been, in his last four fights, he's landing at 52% takedown accuracy. Um, he's taken on Darren Till, two and three in his last five. Fought back in 2020 against Robert Whitaker. You know, he lost that one. That's going to happen also. In my opinion, I think Darren Till is a bit overrated. People love him, but I do. He's, he's a little bit overrated. He's a striker, but only averages two strikes per minute, minus 0.5 striking differential. He does have some crazy power, though. Um, Brunson is no stranger. To, Brunson is no stranger to getting finished either um, by KOTKO. He got KOTKO'd in five of his six UFC losses, but all against crazy high competition. Like Till is did. Till is capable of getting uh, of KOing Brunson. Um, but I see Brunson taking this fight to the later rounds, and Till has shown to slow down tremendously. Um, and Brunson is just so hot right now. I'm loving what I'm seeing from him. He's just defying everything. Right. And he's looking great against these like unbelievable striker, like everyone. He's he's really looking awesome. So I'm gonna actually go with the big underdog and Derek Brunson in this one. Yeah, solid, solid pick. I have no no quarrels with that. Like once I saw the odds too, and I was like, I have no problem because I, I view this fight as a pick em. Like if Brunson can get those early takedowns, it's probably going to be in his favor, you know? Dude, yeah, I see Darren Till gassing. That's, I'm, and when I'm picturing this in my head, I'm seeing Darren Till slowing down tremendously. But he does have that. He's is, punching is, is this go. fight in, is this, is this fight in England? Vegas. Oh, uh, it is? Yeah. Uh, they said something about England uh, last time, but um, yeah, I think COVID fucked that up. Yeah, it is the it, it is the apex. Yeah, it's UFC Vegas thirty six. Uh, yeah, because it seems like um, grapplers that, are. That is a good thing though, because when Darren Till has his hometown advantage, the judges definitely lean towards him too. So he gets those lops up, like you know, like wins that are close, he'll get a lopsided. You like that's Stephen Thompson fight, for example, it was a close. It was a pretty close fight looking back on it, but they had it like 49, 46 and 50, 45 or something like that. Oh. And it wasn't that close and it wasn't that much. It, it was a pretty close fight. It wasn't that much of a gap. So yeah. yeah. Darren, but Darren Till did, did beat him. Yeah. Like, he won. And, um, but that was back at welterweight. Like he was enormous. He was enormous at welterweight. And now he's like pretty, pretty big at middleweight. Like, He's on the bigger side, you know, bigger, yeah. bigger side of the spectrum on middleweight. So this fight's going to get, this fight's going to be super interesting, but yeah, I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take uh, Till. You, you got Brunson. We'll see who gets it, but yeah. I'm looking for Brunson five fight. After that, what do you do? You give him a title shot? What, what do you do with him? I think you do. I think you, do. you give him a title shot after Robert Whitaker. Yeah. I mean, wow. he deserves it after he, he it's deserves amazing, it after that. It's amazing to think that he was able to just like, I don't know, just do, go on this run. The blonde hair, man. Yeah, the blonde hair is the. Uh, I have no other. I have no other explanation than the blonde hair. And you ever see that picture of him like with like his shoulders like slumped over, like he's like that meme of Derek Brunson. You know what I'm talking about? That picture of him where he looks like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> You ever see that? Yeah. And his arms are like so long and he's like standing there like so awkward. I'll throw a picture in here for the fans. Um, all right. We're going to end this here. Dan's got to go to school. I got to go drink some more coffee. Um, no brainer MMA signing off. Mm-hmm.